The first time I have uh, heard about the planet going to die is from the campaign from Al Gore about 15 years ago, like uh, many people. I'll be honest, I didn't change much. I didn't change much my behavior. But with my uh, spiritual walk in the Amazon forest with indigenous tribes, more recently in Mexico in the jungle, I have become more aware of how important it is to preserve it how important are the trees, especially the old ones and the forest. And a few days ago, I, I discovered the Fairy Blockade Instagram account. There are hundreds, if not thousands of years uh, old trees that are cut to make material to build buildings or homes. And there are many other sustainable ways to find trees for construction or, or grow them for construction instead of destroying an ecosystem that takes hundreds of years to make and when you feel that connection it just made me it just made me very upset so i am in a few groups and i talk to friends and it seems to be that there is a new awareness of like what can, what can we do right so the first thing and i I want to do something myself. So the first thing is change our habits. Change, like be conscious, everything about it. Think about it, right? If you go to a hotel, does it have a good waste system? And like most hotels, for example, in Mexico, in Tulum, does, if you go to Maldives, do you know there is an island full of trash? If you go to see coral in the ocean, do you know that it's completely disappearing? 50% of the coral uh, reef in the world disappeared in the last five years, I think, I've read or seen. And that is due to what reje rejecting the water, sometimes in just, just flushing toilets. Um, so just being conscious about it is number one, like being conscious that everything you put in your body, everything you do has an impact. Um, take a flight I, I reduce my travel like most people with COVID of course but a lot and when I take one there are ways to offset flights I'm going to do this now each flight um, spread the word why am I talking about this I'm talking about this because I just care more I am not an environment environmentalist I am not an activist I'm just a citizen of the world and i think it's time for everybody to talk more about those things to point the fingers at these trees in canada being cut daily for example um avoid so spreading the world the word avoid buying things that we know harm nature it, that's a pretty easy thing to do number one offender is meat and dairy products because as you know, if you have not watched uh, Cowspiracy, uh, it's a 2014 movie documentary, great. I just watched it yesterday because I'm like, all in that topic right now to just learn, educate myself. There is Seaspiracy that I'm watching tonight. Um, if we want to help solve the carbon issue, global warming, it takes many, many years. I've, I've seen like up to a hundred years to really change things. If we want to change them right now, we can eat less meat and less dairy products and, or milk or none. And the magnitude of the problem is huge. If you uh, Please go watch Cowspiracy if you haven't. And if you have and you think some of the numbers are obvious, you know what, it doesn't matter because meat is the number one reason why the forests are getting destroyed because we need more space to grow corn and soy to feed cattle and then a ton of water, way more than what we need, to uh, have meat and have dairy products. So in your yogurt, in your milk, every single day. And I'm not here to give lessons. I am an offender myself. We all harm the planet. Maybe not the Buddhist monks that never kill anything and meditate. But apart from that, we all have an impact. So how about being more conscious about what we buy? There are products we can buy that are bad and products we can buy that are good for the planet or better for the planet. 
I am really happy that, that they resolve these new replacement for, for meat uh, products, that there is one day maybe meat uh, grown in laboratory. I am trying myself to reduce. I went from being French, you know, we like uh, meat a lot as well. I was from really one stack a day. That was what I was doing a long time ago. To now one every week or two. And now <laughs> I think it's way too much. Also the spiritual work, you, you understand really fast. They ask you to not eat red meat. There is a reason for that. It's not to preserve the planet, actually, so you feel much better as well. So I'm, I'm not vegan. There is 1% of the world vegan. Apparently it's growing really fast. Uh, and the number one reason is to care about the planet. I am not, I might be one day. I tried for one month and I really, really miss meat. Uh, and then you go fish. You know what? Fish is the same. I, 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 I love the ocean. I spend time on the ocean. I love kite surfing. I went uh, scuba diving today, actually. <laughs> and uh, it's amazing to see all this coral. But it's not only beautiful to see. It's a whole ecosystem. 50% of a coral reef disappeared because of global warming, because the ocean is, is, is getting warmer, and because of everything we, we throw in it. It's a disaster. Things have to stop, and I think it starts by talking about it and changing things uh, ourselves. So uh, you could buy or even invest in good products. I invested at the time in uh, uh, Laxmi uh, uh, Cosmetics, LXMI Cosmetics Company from Laila Jana at the time that uh, does uh, organic uh, plant-based, basically, cosmetics instead of putting things on your body, which I, I don't much, but many people do. So buy the good products. Uh, there is uh, something called Thrive Market where you can find those products. I hope there will be more. I, I hope Amazon.com one day does a selection of products much better, like with a label. If you buy meat, it should have a label like cigarette tobacco kills, right? On cigarette boxes, there should be a box, a, a label on red meat saying you're destroying the Amazon forest. Um, support groups, ferry blockade, a ton of people are supporting it to stop this company making construction with wood from thousands of your trees. There are so many. Uh, address the CEO directly. I did a few times. I, a few times I, I tweeted Michel Edouard Leclerc because he's on the list. Leclerc, it's a supermarket in France, of the companies contributing heavily to deforestation because of the, the way they buy meat and to whom they buy it. He didn't reply, unfortunately. I hope one day he does. And I hope I'm wrong. That's, you know, just me reading stuff. Um, donate, of course. I, I chose to support mostly uh, the Amazon forest and the indigenous, like uh, the Yawanawas and the Yashaninkas, who, who plant millions of trees on deforested land. There are a lot of support groups like Amazon Watch and, and non-profits. Um, inform yourself. So I'm doing that myself. I try to read a lot, which is new. I try to watch the movies again, <laughs> watch Cowspiracy and Seaspiracy and others. I, I, on my newsletter, there's a list uh, if you want to check it out. It's at uh, my9.substack.com. Um, decrease what you buy, buy less. And, uh, you know, again, I am not giving lessons here. I'm talking to myself. What can I buy less? How can I buy better and less? And I think I'm way better, even though not perfect, buying way less stuff because it all ends up in the bin in a manner or another. And, uh, uh, well, again, spending time in the forest, <laughs> I really had a few clothes and my, and my guitar and I was very happy with that. But yeah, I mean, I have stuff too. It's just about being conscious. Teach the children, right? Like if you, if you walk on the beach in some countries, there is trash everywhere. It's, this is just education. And I think helping raise consciousness is probably the source. The source all of all of this is we are conscious beings. We are one with the universe. We are just one with that tree. We are everything we do. We are one with the animals. Once you understand that, you just can't keep going. So I think helping raise awareness of why being conscious about these things, even though we're not perfect. Again, if we all do our part to get better, this is going to be a great, uh, great step. And the last is to listen to nature. Um, again, being in the forest, I did a vision quest last week and a Sundance, spent nine days in the jungle fasting. It was incredible, the connection you feel. And then you cannot really behave the same way anymore. Anyway, I hope we open a conversation about this. Thank you for listening.